Greetings, everyone. Um, back for a reading. We got a double feature. First one is "It's Your First Kiss, Charlie Brown." Um, uh, we have Sir Duckington here. He um, he got uh, he got a scholarship for uh, medical school. Is that right, Sir Duckington? Quack. <laughs> Um, you, you managed to get enough free time to, uh, do this with me, is that right? Quack. <laughs> so, Sir Duckington, um, well, I have to provide translations for everything you say? Ash, yes, yes. Whoa, 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 calm down, Sir Duckington. I was just asking if, if I needed to translate what you're saying. Very few people in on the on the internet can speak duck. Just just calm down, all right. Sir Duckington. Unless I stab you first. Sir Duckington. Maybe this is why you got expelled out of medical school. It wasn't for being a quack. Not enough bread. Why didn't you work to be a baker then? Quack. <laughs> so, you sell quack on the streets? And cash. Are you a quackhead or a quack fiend? I'm a quack. <laughs> oh, so you're a failed doctor. Wait, wait, wait. But you're a duck. And you became a, a doctor. Does that make you a doctor? Quack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's let's get this done with. Okay. Uh, the paragraph in this is just heinous. Already heinous. I'm sure everybody knows about Charlie Brown. Sir Duckington, do you know about Charlie Brown? <laughs> he said yes. If you haven't seen the program on television at some point, you have have. Um. Sir Duckington, is this proper English? Have have caught? It shouldn't it be have caught, Sir Duckington? Mm. Is that a yes or no, sir? Hard to believe. You have have no. caught. <laughs> you have have caught the VHS tapes of float around bargain bins in the United States. Oh my god! A floaty VHS tape! <laughs> oh no, not the bargain bins! <laughs> the forbidden bargain bins! Oh shit, oh shit, I That's forgot to do sound the Necronomicon. <laughs> It's just made out of VHS tapes. It's just made out of Charlie Brown VHS tapes. <laughs> the Necronomic Onyx Medium. <laughs> I knew what? there was something about that Charlie Brown. <laughs> Charlie Brown note. <laughs> that blockhead couldn't <laughs> keep his nose out of the bitten earth. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow, Sir Duckington, I didn't know you spoke English. <laughs> if not that, you might have seen it in a class classroom. A uh, cool new paragraph, ass room. Uh, that's a reference to the close encounter with the tales doll, whatever. As teachers love to show the family friendly television programming to their students. Well, I wouldn't expect the VHS tape to be used to program Linux, now would I? Um... <laughs> it was in late August of 2013 that I came across a particularly strange episode of the Charlie Brown show in a VHS slipcase. Uh, was it a slipcase for lasagna? Or a slip... Wait, wait, maybe it was a VHS slipknot. No, it's one of those card... Board cases. No, 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 no. It's a, it's a Slipknot. Before you forget, right? I'll slip your knot. No homo. Right into the sewer. 
Wait, Sir Duckington. <laughs> you didn't say no homo. <laughs> I don't know how a duck got human vocal cords. <laughs> the, is your car insurance Aflac? Nah, it's quack quack. <laughs> quack quack. <laughs> is, is, is your favorite brand of alcohol quacking? Quack. It was. That was for. Wait, subcase for. The, that was for. No, it's a great my pumpkin favorite kind of beer. A, ho a Halloween episode many people are familiar with. New paragraph. It was in my grandparents' attic, which I found while I was staying in their home in Minneapolis. Well, I suspect people would have an attic in their house. They, will they have an attic in their bathtub? Or a porta potty? I have an attic in my bathtub. What's it called? Another bathtub? Yes. <laughs> Sir Clackington, that is a very I strange... I have a bathtub in my bathtub. Sir Clackington, that's bathtubception. And this is a bucket. Dear God. There's more. No. Quack. It contains a bucket. No. Dear God. There's more. No. <laughs> it contains a bucket. Oh my god, we're seven minutes into this and we're not even half- we're like halfway through the third paragraph void or something. Because it contains this... an attic. No, the story is fucking boring. <laughs> I heard that Charles Schultz, creator of Peanuts, grew up in Minneapolis just a few miles from the summer home. Uh, do you want to hit the next three paragraphs? From his summer home, where he shot Yankees all day with his cannons. Quack. The actual VHS inside the tape was blank and very old. With markers scrawling, ITGPCB tape boom. Oh, look and at some Japanese or Chinese <laughs> characters. Wait, 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 wait. Underneath that um at Tador it's just a bunch of anime characters <laughs> Japanese or Chinese like, um, like, moon um, rooms like um Ash from Pokemon what's his name from um Bakugan um Zoro from uh, One Piece uh Guts from Berserk and they're just duking out with like Chinese mythological warriors or something <laughs> That's a really cool cover now that I think about it. It's Luffy Goku. <laughs> and then Naruto and Harry Potter show up and save the day. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Sir Duckington, are you having a stroke? Crank. <laughs> anyway, beneath Quack. the care. Beneath ITGPCB take two. Electric Boogaloo. And some Japanese or Chinese characters. Unnail. That which seem to have been printed out on some strange ink block. Well, do you print with a potato? Do you use potatoes as printer ink? Yes. <laughs> Maybe in Soviet Russia. Crap. Well, in Soviet Russia, that would. The printer ain't better than everyone else. Quack. <laughs> they, they fed the printer. Hey, they, they, they what's strange it. is Wait. that whoever had drawn a pumpkin. Well, if it's about the great pumpkin, what do you what's expect them to draw a watermelon? Is that whoever had drawn a pumpkin. An apple tree beneath. Apple Those letters. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. signed it with the initials TD. Wait, wait, TD. That Duck sentence seems fucked up. Duckington. That... 
Duckington starts with the easier. First name Terry, perchance. Terry Duckington? Wait. Wait, wait, it's Timmy Duckington. Timmy! Timmy! Act just some. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. That, oh, right, that's your paragraph. That sentence. They don't seem so fucked up. <laughs> well, do you honestly. Anyway, after some research, I found that there were no people in or around. In around Warner Bros. <laughs> Running around town. Or any other associated companies that would have worked on these episodes with those initials. <laughs> they were all interns at Nickelodeon Studios. Right. I posted on a few forms. Wait, wait, you skipped a sentence. Episode, but it all seemed kind of strange. I posted on a few forms about the episode. But got no responses as to what the episodes could be about. Uh, Seems suspicious to me. Yeah, kind of sus. Really? Do, 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 do. So, Duckington, you still have one more paragraph to do. After some research. You already read I... that one. The one after it. I don't own a VHS to digital video converter. Who does in this so day and age? There is no way to put the episode onto my computer. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. He put it on the computer like it was a shirt or something. <laughs> or a sticker. I pet stickers on my cardboard all the time. Quack. Then I get kicked out of Grand Prix. <laughs> Oh yeah, Sir Duckington, didn't you get kicked out of the library for putting uh, the Quran in the fiction section? <laughs> oh yeah, then you put a, a, a book on women's rights right next to it. Oh yeah, that was pretty funny. Then he turned himself into a pickle. Funniest shit I've ever seen. You're pretty, you're pretty messed up on quack that day, weren't you? Can we get a move on to you? <laughs> yeah, making terrible jokes. Well, I just continue. I'll start get my robot to destroy you. Continue. Continue. Continuing. Weirdly enough, the real title was It's a French Kiss, Charlie Brown. Many of those VHS tapes had promos for other shows at the beginning. But this looked like some kind of rough cut. As opposed I to as opposed usual... to what? Clean cut? Yes. Or, or or maybe um a rough paste? Ketchup. Ketchup, 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 ketchup. Which one is ketchup. which one of these? Have you never had cat soup before? Cat soup? That sounds like some Chinese food or something. <laughs> oh, or maybe, ketchup. maybe cat soup is like um a Japanese brand of ramen that they just they're just like mm, cat soup. That was a very big animal in our society. Maybe in a good luck. Maybe if we name our ramen company a cat soup, people will buy. <laughs> they didn't work out so well in America. I should add in something. What, uh, More the... soup. <laughs> cat. <laughs> oh man. Uh, keep, just keep reading. I heard the usual penis theme. <laughs> as Charlie Brown walked out of the house 
There's a baseball cap. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. The way the sentence is structured, was the house wearing the baseball cap? Yes. <laughs> How the hell did a child afford that? I mean, great. Yeah, house it, it doesn't is wear a in... baseball cap. I mean, granted, it is set in 1950, in like 1951 or something, so a house sized baseball cap was like, what, a dollar thirty back then? Sure. Just, just keep reading. Sure. Sure. Quack. Anyway, with a house sized baseball cap. <laughs> Something seemed a little odd about the show. Yeah, why the hell was the, was the house wearing a baseball cap in the first place? That's my first question. Why not? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, this was 1951 where, you know, there wasn't government tyranny or something. Damn. Yeah, so houses could have worn baseball caps. <laughs> and you could buy a house with, uh, with like a fast food paycheck or something. Anyway, there were some weird black lines that looked like spirals. But, but they had spiraled up from the corners of the screen. But then a skeleton popped out. I mean, it was very distracting. But I assumed maybe this episode was meant to start as a dream it, sequence. As the sky was it going, could just wait. be a very old VHS. The <laughs> dream sequence was a dream theater. Because VHS tapes after a little while always gets those oh, little, yeah, yeah. little black so, lines. So in the previous paragraph, there were black lines that like spider legs. The camera crawls up. Maybe the camera just had spider legs or something. It just grew legs. Mm. And it moves to the right in a very jerky and forced manner. That would explain why maybe the camera just grew the legs and it doesn't know how to use them properly yet. As though a huge map painting that animators used was being forcibly moved out of the frame. The, mm. the next third of those paragraphs made my brain leak from my nose. Anyway, it was very distracting, but I assumed maybe the episode was meant to start as a dream scene. <laughs> as the sky was I already born. read that. Or it could just be the morning. No, it's a nuclear warhead. Ah, uh, you and your nuclear warheads. War. War never changes. Even with houses wearing baseball caps. <laughs> anyway, in several hours the sun will rise. In just a Won't few hours the sun will rise. Anyway. Snippy was at one camera. game transparency, eating a bag of peanuts. Wait, wait, wait. Why the hell was Snoopy at a third transfer? Can, can you... What the hell is going on? Are you confused? Hmm. Maybe it's because you skipped a second. No, I didn't. I just went from a map painting that was being used, moved out of the frame, then suddenly Snoopy was a third less transparent. Was a third more transparent, sorry. Eating a bag of peanuts, like it could be a ghost. No, Silent Hill fog. <laughs> it was really advanced animation for 1953. Uh, fog effects. <laughs> he looks really nauseated. No, no, not nausea. Fucking tent swap. <laughs> Up until now. Up until now, it was all past tense, but then looks, looks is not past tense. It would be he looked really nauseated. Oh, dare and so he. there's something in his water bowl that's making him moan. Yeah, it's called water from Flint, Michigan. Or oh, there could have been someone pissing in his bowl. Uh, for a moment. The little oh, bird. No. I don't remember that its name. Is is seen laying on the floor with his legs in the air. As if it just- as if- Fuck! I ruined the joke. As if- with its legs in the air, as if it just didn't care. I thought I might have been dead, which would have been bizarre. 
I mean, that's one no, word No, no, Snoopy was fucking the bird! Gramps. You need to touch grass. Oh, no! But the one... grass is burning! Good. Now touch it. But one oh. leg was twitching spasmodically. That is a real word. Look it up, please. As the camera cut to Snoopy, without the capital S, so it's an entirely different word now. Yes, it means in a spasmodic manner, intermittently, with spasms and spurts and fits. And I, and I Woodstock just had a fucking seizure trying to read this. <laughs> Godzilla had a stroke trying to read this and fucking died. Oh no. He wanted to be in a better story. I can't blame him there. So he killed himself. Uh, yeah. So he could find the better story <laughs> in the sky. Yeah. Yeah. This is the camera cut to Snoopy carving a pumpkin. There was a serious graphicness, yes that is a word too, to the pumpkin carving which seemed more stylized than the usual simple animation style. Snoopy carved a pumpkin then Snoopy carved a pumpkin to resemble Charlie Brown's head. Everyone in this Peanuts show has just the same shaped head. Just a big old circle. Then put a can oh, inside the pumpkin. pumpkin. The video stopped there. Frozen heard the Peanuts theme playing. Several keys are being hit. <laughs> Several keys are being hit, Ron. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe it's uh, Chris Brown trying to play the piano, but since it's not tuned right, he thinks it's Rihanna. <laughs> so he's just punching. So he's just punching the keys. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! He's on the piano again. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, get the intern off of the piano. <laughs> I might. There should be a comma after I. And after myself. I myself. Th no, there should be commas there, but. Least of the story's problems. I myself am a professional pianist. Penis. <laughs> you can tell that many of the notes are being hit a few notes over for some reason. And it didn't seem intentional. <laughs> I am a professional pianist. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Everyone. wait, wait, wait. Maybe it's Helen Keller trying to play the piano. <laughs> Here we go. Glorious Tuesday. No, no. Helen Keller was the blind and deaf woman who might not have actually been blind or deaf. Fucking faked it her entire life because. <laughs> Fuck you, that's why. <laughs> Or her handler was just making up stuff again. <laughs> Snoopy carved the cut into Charlie Brown's face and put a candle and put a candle inside and left the pumpkin there. Um, all of these are just single sentences. And I guess he made two pumpkins with Charlie Brown's face. I wonder what will happen to them. The time lapse showed the pumpkin soy withering, rotting, decaying, and dying. All of those are synonyms and. You know, that's not a very bad word choice, it's just kind of repetitive. As the candle burned away Charlie Brown's facial features, we even know- <gasps> Oh my god! Go, look! Sir Duckington, look! Bang. Look! It says skeletal! Spooky scary skeleton will pop out! <laughs> Leaving a spooky scary skeleton! Leaving a spooky scary skeleton that soon became covered in flies and rotted down to nothing! <gasps> oh my god! Skeleton. And what happened to the other pumpkin? It, it it too became a spooky scary skeleton. It's too spooky for me. The next, she, the next scene just showed Charlie Brown heading to school down the linear path as though the last scene hadn't happened. Um, I want you to... And he want... took the second pumpkin! Wait, wait, wait. Um, who's, Do you want to voice Charlie or do you want to voice Linus? Oh no, we haven't come to any of them. Um. Ch 
Charlie Brown was missing a shoe and his leg was brown colored. It was a very specific detail that I noticed. What's weird is that he knocks at the front door of the school before he is invited in. These tense swaps are... I like how it started off with good tenses, but now it's just devolving. I've never heard of someone knocking in a school. Charlie Brown sits next sits down next to Linus Van Pelt and takes out a brown paper lunch bag. New paragraph. All of a sudden, Charlie Brown's eyes... He could just say... Charlie. Charlie Brown's eyes grows exceptionally there large. There she is! He says. The girl with the red hair! Indeed, Charlie Brown's school crush was one of the major plot points that the show addressed. I bet one day... Charlie Brown started... I'll go up to her and approach her, and I'll do something that impresses her, and she'll kiss me. Wait, wait, wait. Kisses in all caps. And she'll kiss me. No, it's the band kiss. She'll take me to a kiss concert. How could she afford one? Her father is the lead singer of Kiss. Oh, I would probably explain why. Little cartoon hearts bubbled up around Charlie Brown when he held his hands together and waited to them, smiling. Uh, uh, do you want me to voice Linus? Yes. Alright. Huh. Wait, wait, wait. I just realized something. In the same update that added the, the Enderman and the Waterman, it also added the Villager and the Iron Golem. If you know anything about Jewish mythology, golems are part of Jewish mythology and they're made to protect um, uh, villages from uh, threats and stuff. Just do like simple tasks. <laughs> if you looked at a villager model, you'll notice something very odd about it. Namely the nose. Golem. Jewish mythology, same update as the villager. Hmm. Wait, Sir Duckington, are you a Minecraft villager as well? <laughs> he looked a little off. Linus was holding his blanket, but there was a picture of the United States scrawled on it for some reason. What? Uh, um, what voice does he have in the show? I haven't watched it in ages, um. It's the one that carries around his yeah, yeah, yeah. favorite what? blue blanket. Yeah, yeah, what, what does his voice sound like? I forget. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I don't know, Charles. Man, well, boys in our case should have romanticized such things. <laughs> What's weird is that. Oh no, it seems like a more annoying man dark. <laughs> I am man dark and I will take over the school. <laughs> so, an, an 80 year old man and man dark. <laughs> are like eight year old boys at a school. Anyway, what's <laughs> weird is that I never heard anyone refer to Charlie Brown as Charles on the show before. I have. So you know nothing of Charlie Brown. Why the hell would you write a creepy post about Charlie Brown anyway? If, especially like, if you know nothing of Charlie Brown. And you just put weird shit in it, like, every five sentences. Please continue. The red-haired girl. Oh my god, she's Cross. a ginger! Cross the room in a kind of ghastly manner. Ghastly? Gassy manner? <laughs> no, no, gassy manner. <laughs> she just ate Taco As Bell. Charlie Brown opened his paper bag lunch. He had to eat the paper, paper bag. Sandwich with peanuts with a highly stylized drawing what? of George Washington Carver. What the Venture fuck is going on? Peanut butter on the cover. What the fuck is going on? Are on the cover of his lunchbox? Or on the cover of his. No, no, no. Maybe he. Maybe the sandwich was the cover for the actual lunch when. He just ate the paper bag because he's a weirdo. Oh, <laughs> he's, wait. He threw Maybe away the he sandwich. Just, 
inscribe George Washington Carver into the Beretta. Wait, wait, sandwich. inscribe? No, no, inscribe. That's like scribe is um writing. So he had to. So he fucking engraved an insignia of George Washington Carver into his sandwich with peanuts. He took a chisel made out of peanuts to his sandwich. <laughs> Chiseled out George Washington Carter onto a slice of bread, then filled the gaps with more peanuts. Oh no, not the peanuts. Wait, 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 wait. Snoopy was eating peanuts. How many fucking peanut references are there? W were they all for George Washington Carver? Yes. Snoopy was secretly George Washington Carver this whole time. <laughs> it's a conspiracy. Charlie it's Brown seemed a little different man. in the next scene. He looked a little grizzled, maybe slightly older. Um, wait, wait, wait. Can you do the War War Never Changes thing, but as Charlie Brown? Oh yeah, while you're reading, I have to look up there. The war. War Never Changes. <laughs> Only the weapons we used to fight them. <laughs> he has some dust on his face that looks kind of like beard stubble. <laughs> oh no, not the beard stubble. <laughs> this is fucking retarded, but this is so stupid. It, it'd actually be worse if it was written terribly. Just, it's actually better written this way because it's written in perfect English, right? But it's all so nonsensical. The room is full of puddles and puddles of water. Wait, wait, wait. It's full of puddles and puddles of water. Or, or half the puddles chocolate milk. Wait, wait, no. I think I know what one. I think I know what half of the, um. Puddles were half of the puddles were peanut butter. Peanut butter and piss. No, 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 just watered down peanut butter. Peanut juice. Watered down with peanut piss. You fucking weirdo. And there are dead flies everywhere. The plants near the window are dead too. Charlie Brown walks up to, to his nature. Plants. And the usual brass noises are made. Wah, 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 wah. But Charlie couldn't understand them. What? He said to the sound of the off key trumpet or trauma. Wah, 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 wah. Indeed, Charlie couldn't understand. I think some kind <laughs> of learning difficulty. <laughs> he's, he's just going deaf. I yeah. think some kind of learning difficulty. No, 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 no. He's he's just suffering from hearing loss from serving in war. <laughs> and all the peanuts. No, no, no. He's just going through tinnitus. Oh no. Why do you think he's so grizzled? <laughs> he had a fight in a war against a bunch of peanuts. Oh no. <laughs> Not the peanut men from Mars. <laughs> Charlie no, said, no. At, Charlie Sheen said, looking at his shoes sadly. Wait, are you gonna voice Pigpen? Uh, Pigpen I walked up. I had off. no idea Pigpen was here. Oh yeah, he's he's the um Discord moderator of the group. You know, never showered. Always smells like dirt and stink. I don't know if he actually spoke in the show. He did. Just wasn't a very major character. He was, he was kind of like a... He, he had some scenes that were dedicated to him, but not, not as many as everyone else. I think. I don't know. Please voice him. Mm. I'll try. Hey, Do a different voice than Charlie. He said something... If the water is making everyone ill, and we need to drink this bottle of water for the next two weeks. Oh, so they are in Flint, Michigan. What's yeah. weird is that Apparently. at the time of the penis indication, bottled water was not even in circulation yet. 
Yeah, that. Oh yeah, dude. Chris... Oh, it's a movie. Dude, dude, dude. Chris Chan's dad, Bob Chandler. He's a dude who made, who patented the machinery to make water bottles. Fucking crazy. The label wasn't specifically drawn, but it kind of looks like a Zephyr, a Zephyr Hills bottle. It, what? What? What the fuck? Zephyr Hills. Cypress Hill. Is apparently oh, a water company. Oh wait, Zephyr Hills with no space is a city in Florida. And they have 100% natural spring water. That's what they all say. Made of pure quality and easy pour. That's what they all say. Let's see. Um, Charlie Brown went into a shed with broken windows and took out a notebook. Oh, so so the decay of Detroit really is starting early. Can't see the girl with the red hair, the, the R and H are capitalized, but not the G and girl. It... Red hair is a new name. <laughs> That's a really terrible name for your child. It's even worse than pig pen. Somehow. But he couldn't get it close enough to reach her. It starts to get to be it when he read what was written. Um, Big Pen is a nickname. Um, let me voice. Let me see if I can do a woman voice. Um, wait, I got the perfect voice for. Group twenty fourth, nineteen sixty. Actually, this is the letter. There's a boy at school that I find really handsome. I think his name is Charlie. His arms smile at me from across the cafeteria. Or nothing more than dog. I maybe blend my lips on him, and he can smell my hair while I. Okay, uh, Batman. Not All of a sudden, there was some loud bang. It was the sound of a rocket in the shed. Uh, um, uh, it's Lucy. Um, what are you doing there? It was Lucy. I guess all the kids were supposed to be playing football, as Lucy was shown squeezing a football. Hurry up, you fuzz bucket! Fuzz, fuss budget, fuss budget. I know I it's sixty-seven. I know it's sixty-seven and all, but even for then, that's a terrible insult. Wait, 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 wait. What? What's weird is that grown ass Asian man. That's Asian. Asian. Why? Asian businessman Are you confused? is shown walking in the background. But they what I know about the show, they you never it. saw the adult characters' heads. So, yeah. it confused me somewhat terrible. Was this written as a Don't joke? Asian man started to talk as the brass started up. But the King. camera immediately cut to the right of the screen as the kids were playing football. Sir Duckington. Um... It... Was this written as a joke? Crank. Okay, I think we're about halfway done and we've been at this for 40 minutes. Crank. Lucy lined up the football for Charlie Brown to kick. This was a common gag. Whenever Charlie would kick the football, Lucy would pull it away and Charlie would keel over and die of a heart attack. Uh, Charlie? Oh no! I have to find the redhead girl. No, oh, he skipped some parts. He skipped like. Oh no! He skipped so many. Okay, okay, ready. Charlie Brown ran toward the football, but just as we see a ball away, he continued to run into the field. What are you doing, Charlie Brown? Linus yelled. He saw the redhead girl climbing onto a bus way out in the field. He chased her across the field as a bus pulled away, leaving him there. No one was even there, Charlie Brown, Linus said. Charlie sighed. Lucy had thrown a rock at his head rather hard. I guess she didn't get the satisfaction of pulling the football away. Ow! Charlie cried, and blood began to drip down and said, Wait, what the fuck? What is that? 
Evidently, none of the characters in the Peanuts universe seemed to know what blood was. Charlie put his hand over his wound as Lucy opened the first aid kit to find nothing inside. Wait, wait, wait. There's no end of the quotation mark. So, you have to say all of that until the um, quotation mark after um, AM. No, oh, there was an end of... No, there is no end of the punctuation mark after time. There is no end punctuation time. mark. No, no, quotation mark. Sorry. The next scene show Charlie Brown's head stitched shut with what looked like the same stitches used on baseballs. I have to find that red-haired girl, Charlie said. I'm running out of time. Still you. Looked, uh, you, see, you have to say it as Charlie Brown. Part. I looked at my wristwatch. No, he looked. No, 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 uh, no, no. It says he. He said he looked at his wristwatch. I'm not <laughs> he's talking, talking he's about myself. He's what he's doing. Third person. <laughs> he's narrating what he's you. doing. Anyway, I looked at my wristwatch. Which appeared to be drawn on with the time, 8.16 a.m. There was, it a sh was a shot of, S of Snoopy as the Red Baron. But there is Red Baron pizza. in a B-29 bomber for some reason. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> it shot actually says that. Was it actually says that. All the kids at the school dance. Char Charlie was fumbling, was fumbling from within the crowd, trying to get to the red-haired yes, girl. Yes, I was fumbling from within the crowd, <laughs> trying to get to the red-haired girl. Shut! <laughs> Pipe down, blockhead! She was turned but around. But she to turned to around at the food punch bowl! <laughs> what part of Pipe down, blockhead is hard to understand, fuzz, fuzz budget. And I'm gonna approach her! Charlie said. Linus was holding a massive a cold book he checked out from the library Well, Oh... Oh no... <laughs> no... What the hell? Oh no! Charlie Brown had the Necronomicon the whole time! <laughs> no, it was Linus. He was behind it all. I think I figured it out, Charlie. <laughs> he said, sucking his thumb. There's a demon from Japanese folklore called the Yoko Ono. <laughs> it's wait, 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 Sir Duckington. You know how? It's it's called the Yoko Ono. It it sings this terrible music and just makes you die of a brain aneurysm. Brain. That that's why it's so dangerous. The worst part is um why the Beatles unfortunately married one. Brain. I think it was Lennon or something. Brain. Called the Yoko the Yuki Ona. This statement takes a part of what you, of what you want the most. Charlie didn't seem to be listening. It wants to find you, it. Charlie walked up to the girl with the fruit punch bowl and circled around it, but she kept turning around. He couldn't get a view of her face. <clears throat> Don't touch her, Charlie Brown! His childhood friend screamed, but Charlie wasn't listening. It's just a projection of your mind, Charles. It's something you think you want, and it will kill you! Jesus Christ. A shot of lines going up to another grown Asian man was shown. Oh no. Oh no. This time, as he talked, I heard the off-kilter brass, but it slowly began to roll backwards as if in a row. I am rubbing my eyes right now, just, just trying to comprehend this. As if an orchestra was getting into tune, I heard the words, Horrific of death! No, no! Destroy him! Well, no. and destroy him! No! Constipation! This- You fucking bot- Eisenhower who Oppenheimer said, I am become death, destroyer of worlds. This fucker botched it. It's I am become death, not I have become death. 
as an explosion rock the it's an explosion rock the boat and a bright white shot outside. It is a fucking nuclear warhead. I guess it was meant to be fireworks. There was fruit punch on the floor, but it looked like blood. Charlie tripped on it, fell, and you could see a halo as he threw it through the door before the tape popped and recut. Please read for me. My brain can't take anymore. Now Charlie was running through the field. Running yes, in the 90s. It's a new way I like to be. I'm now just I remember seeing on the show red haired girl way. And he ran. He ran so far. Chased away. the red haired girl way, way out into the field. But pictures of feet, what? hair, broken light bulbs, holes. And what? baseball bats were carved into tight eating trees. What the hell? The trees became more and more narrow, representing a hallway. After a while, and Cherry Brown had to squeeze through. Oh my god, we're near the end. There was what could have been blood, fruit punch, or some other form material, which Charlie became completely Ew. covered in as he chased the girl with Ew. the red hair to a snowy area. I don't have much time, he thought. Getting old, I have to get that kiss. I have to reach her. I have. Okay, to you want me to pick up? Okay. He chased the red-haired girl through the snow before realizing he was lost in the forest outside of wherever the town of Peanuts was supposed to be. Charlie's eyes widened heavily and disturbingly as the picture distorted now. They widened and widened, becoming more intense like silly putty pressed onto a Peanuts comic strip, being slowly twisted and contorted to match someone's warped image. They wiggled and wavered. 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 It's all the peanut butter. <laughs> it's getting to his brain. <laughs> and wavered as though they were underwater as he came to a steep cliff overlooking a lake. There was a red wick stuck to a bloody stump. He chased a beautiful red haired girl before she turned around, revealing two bright demonic red eyes, which pierced through the low quality editing of the peanut state before she fell backwards. Down, down into the water as Charlie tried to grab. How would you grab her <laughs> shoulder? <laughs> no maidens. Charlie Brown, the kissless and broken, dove into the shallow pool in an attempt to resuscitate what he thought was her. He dove deep, deep down into the water, pulling her up as she coughed up water and blood. Even though she was unconscious, he wanted to kiss her. She reeled back in horror like a deer in headlights. Was he so abhorred a creature? He withdrew and then went in again, what pressed the lip as he blew into her wounds, sending her coughing up blood. As she became conscious, she kissed him with both kissed there for hours on end. It seemed as the time I should hours pass and the apple blossoms falling from nearby trees. Bright lights of sun, both their eyes exploded in the background. I thought that was the end of this bizarre episode as that scream faded. But the final shot was more stylized. A very realistic, have you seen me? Drawing stuck to a poster on, a, on the wall of the school with a picture of Charlie Brown on it. We don't go missing like this! Linus said with a sigh. Ah, eh, it just doesn't happen. I just want to know no, what happened no, to my I've best friend. Missing. A shot of flashlights was then when a search fire took up the final few segments of the shot before the camera zoomed through the trees to a lake. It was a shot of a toothless Charlie Brown laying there, frozen, blue, dead. His teeth were shown buried in some rotted, rotted carved stump with red hairs around him. shirt was torn, there was visible lacerations around his neck. There were X's in his eyes, but not cartoon X's, they looked like dot 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 stitches. Dirty brown leaves around him. His hand was a ripped heart valentine card. In his heart, there was nothing. Then end. Lord above. Uh, YouTube reading. Yes, some ordinary gamers. Categories are videos, deletion log refugees, bad creepy pasta, lost episodes, cliche madness, dialogue, demons and doubles, pages with grammar that doesn't suck, and read by some ordinary gamers. Final thoughts on this one before we um move over to the other one. Banana peel out of orange. 
this was just like someone on acid trying to write a creepy pasta. Yes. <laughs> okay. Hey, it was all that mess. <laughs> no, no, it had to be acid. Said you won't be able to even write this story. I don't think. Well, if they're on crack, it'd just be the same four words over and over again. Okay, this is the second one. Um, this one was written. Crack. This one was written by uh, Seth Fiona. Check out his YouTube channel in the in the description. Real cool dude. Um, he wrote this. Asked me to ask me to do this. This one shouldn't be too terribly long, I think, but. Given how it took like 49, 48 minutes to read the last one, yeah. This one is Home Alone 2 Lost in Japan. Okay. Oh no, we're lost in Japan. Uh, uh, with all the weeps. No, no, no. More like a, when someone plays its random end, just. A 20th of all the office workers just jump off the roof of their wage cage. Oh no! That are the weeps jumping off of buildings. Someone told them their waifu wasn't real. It's raining, men. <laughs> well, well, I, weirdly Hallelujah. enough. Hallelujah. Well, weirdly enough, that does follow the trend of the Pride March in uh, Kabul. When someone played this raining man, a whole bunch of dudes just fell off of rooftops, all at the same time. No one bothered trying to save them either. Let's go! Hello, my name is Seth the Incubus. I went to mention with my wife Bowsette. Uh, I own a massive video game collection, along with a massive collection of modded and jailbroken Xbox souls. I have a story I want to talk about. Bowsette and I took a trip to Japan because we wanted to see and learn about Japan's cultural differences. When we were there, I found a movie and DVD shop that was located in the mall in Tokyo. When we entered the movie and DVD shop, there were a lot of people in the store. One of the people that was in the DVD and movie store was Charlie Brown and the Asian businessman from <laughs> No, no, not the angry businessman. He's making a return. <laughs> that, no, no, that's his legal name, the Asian businessman. Oh. It was Charlie Brown and the Asian businessman from the It's Your First Kiss Charlie Brown show and pasta. Bowser and I noticed that both Charlie Brown and the Asian businessman were talking about something. We then went up to them and asked, Hey, 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 yeah. Hey, hey, hey. I said, hey. What's going on? Charlie Brown and the Asian businessman then said to us that they are here on a business trip to Japan. They wanted yeah, to visit. I said, hey. <laughs> they what's to visit... going on? They wanted to visit Jin's family and talk to them about what was found in the DNA test. Jin is the Asian businessman's name, by the way. <laughs> Jin, the Asian businessman. Asian businessman Jin. <laughs> the Asian businessman. Yeah, Jin's just a nickname. They got to read yes. about Jin's grandfather, who was a very bad person, question mark. His name is Hiyahachi Mishima. Jin told us that he and Charlie Brown had to go back to Hiyahachi about the DNA. Oh my god, wait. That's a dude from Tekken. <laughs> what? <the hell? laughs> so Jin, the Asian businessman, is the dude from Tekken. He's here with Charlie Brown. In <laughs> a red fighting tournament. <laughs> oh my god, this is trash. <laughs> you fucking don't. This is fucking hilarious. Jane and Charlie tries to be Jane and Charlie Brown the whip with Jane turned into his devil form named Devil Jane. Back to enter quest find Hiyahachi. Oh yeah, Seth made a makes fighting game videos on YouTube, so. If you're lost, just please watch them. After Jen and Charlie... Jen the dinosaur. No, Jen the Asian businessman. The dinosaur businessman. Okay, do you wanna... Do you wanna read or do you just wanna laugh and make stupid jokes while I read? After Jen and Charlie Brown left... That's what I thought. We then went up to the DVD and movie selection. Will you make <laughs> stupid jokes while I read? Wait, wait, so full stop, you. capital A, and... 
Bean. The old shoe. <laughs> Killer Bean. And Red Reese cut out immediately. There was Home Alone 2. The Japan movie. I like how movie is in the quotations as well. So its name is lost in Japan movie. Was this a rough cut? <laughs> Bowser and I. Oh my god! Wait, 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 wait. Go, 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 go. If you go back to It's Your First Kiss, Charlie Brown. This exact sentence was in there. Was this a rough cut? <laughs> Keep going. Oh no, not the spiders. I think this is just a giant troll sequel to It's Your First Kiss, Charlie Brown. Seth, I cannot Bowser thank you enough for this recommendation. And we went up to the register. Wait, wait, wait. Seth the Incubus, so it's like some five foot seven dude who's getting all the pussy just coming at him. Got some nine foot two giant dinosaur woman or dragon woman. And he picks her to be his his waifu. The cashier that, is done. No, that's what happens in the that's what happens. Akira Fudo. Shut, shut up, shut from up. the anime series Go, go, Devil listen, Man. listen. And, and this... No, no, what you don't know is... Featuring Dante from the Burning Abyss series. Oh, shut up. Playing the lore. So what you don't know is Seth the Incubus is like 5'7", and a demon who gets all the pussy somehow. But he picks Bowsette's 9'2 dragon lady to be his waifu. That, that, that's what happened in Home, Home Alone 2. Lost in, in, no, not Home Alone 2. Um, Home Alone 1, lost in China, or lost in Nintendo, sorry. I thought they were lost in Pepsi Land. No, they, they were lost in the Canada. Guy. Pepsi Man! No, no, Pepsi Man saved them in the end. Oh, right, right, right. Keep going. It was the end that I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Last third of the movie. But the cashier was none other than Akira Fudo <laughs> for the anime series Devil Man. Never watched that, but the it's good. 1972 version. The only name, the only Man. anime I watched was like Pokemon, Bakugan, Beyblade, JoJo's, uh, Cowboy Bebop, and Samurai Shampoo. I know I can name them. Featuring Dante from the Burning Abyss series. <laughs> no, no, Dante from the Devil May Cry series. You fucked that up. You trying to make a Yu-Gi-Oh way that just makes it not funny. Just keep going. From the Burning Abyss series. And beside him was his uncle. Tom Selleck. <laughs> Who? Well, let, let me let me let me look him up. Um, Tom Selleck. Oh my God, he's an. He. Which he was a Magnum PI. Like Oh my god, oh. he's an actual actor. Keep going. Uh, yeah. Which ironically looks like Akira's <laughs> uncle from the actual Devil Man. I thought it was. I thought, series. I, for a second, I thought I was going to say Akira the movie. Burning up this. God damn it. You, you ruined an unfunny joke somehow. <laughs> Tom Suck was dressed the same as the uncle from Devil Man. I'm sorry. And then so that Akira and Tom Selleck, they want to buy Home Alone 2 Lost in Japan movie DVD. Which had a pretty interesting backstory behind its production. Akira and Tom Selleck revealed that a bootleg Japanese movie company named Yakuzu Entertainment produced unlicensed parodies of movies that are made overseas. Home Alone 2 Lost in Japan copy that I had in my hand was one of the only copies distributed on a now dead and defunct website. Full stop, which is no longer accessible due to multi multiple copyright lawsuits by American media companies. But capital lowercase b bun capital T D only way to find the copies of their licensed movies is on shady pirating sites. We didn't ask Akira and Tom Selleck how much the movie was. Both Tom Selleck and Akira said that it was about cheap fifty. I mean five dollars and ninety nine cents. We then paid for the movie, and we thanked Akira and his uncle, Tom Selleck, for telling us about the movie that was made. Paz and I went back to our hotel room in Tokyo, which we rented for a couple days, and then decided to watch Home Alone 2 after paying for the first time. Oh. <laughs> Keep... Oh my god, read. The opening scene started with the family getting ready to go to Japan. But the odd oh thing my God. is Evan's mom and dad wait, 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 wait. who I recognized immediately. Just keep... Just, just read. 
heaven stand with scorpion water. Get around. over here! Kevin's mom is sure of soul caliber four. Are you sure about that? Both scorpion and sure. Called everyone downstairs to get ready oh for God, the trip this is to Japan. Awesome. <laughs> Read the next paragraph. His brother was John <laughs> Wick. His sister was Felicia. Just Google him and search her while I read, alright? If you don't know what I'm talking his about. His younger brother was mm. and his uncle was the dragonborn <laughs> of the Elder Scrolls Five Skyrim. <laughs> He's Bruce were done with waiting. <laughs> and Kevin got downstairs. It was not Kevin at all. Kevin Seven. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. It and I didn't even oh my God. expect it. I just realized something. Yeah. This yeah. is just a typical day in Gmod. It was Nick! <laughs> I'm left for dead too. <laughs> After that, the second scene played. <laughs> the second scene was sure Scorpion and the rest of the quote unquote family in, in quotes, no less. to get to the airplane to Japan. Oh my god. Meanwhile, <laughs> Nick from Left for Dead was way behind his family. He struggled to catch up to them. Oh my god. Or what was supposed to be there. Do you want then rushed into the airplane and hopped in the first seat he found. This really does just seem like a script for a Gmod video. The person that sat next to <laughs> Nick was the Punisher <laughs> for Marvel Comics. Wait, wait, wait. This is just the Gmod version of Super Smash Bros. Punisher, Scorpion, Dragonborn, Doom Guy, Felicia, John Wick. Sure. The Punisher! <laughs> then notice Nick is in. What are you doing on this plane? This is a private plane to Tokyo, Japan. Nick then realized that his family were going to a town in Japan, but it was not Tokyo at all. Nick went on the wrong plane. Nick then remembered that his family was going to a family gathering in Osaka, Japan. Nick had to find his way home before Nick's family got worried. And before the plane takes off with Nick inside. Shura, Scorpion, John Wick, and the rest of the family do a heck out of the family members. They all said, give this to Nick six times, and then Dragonborn said, here you go, Nick. He, he saw and said to Nick, Asagi Igawa and her sister Sakura Igawa from the... Oh! <laughs> from the Asi Guy Hentai series were there. They both looked at the Dragonborn with weird and expressions. <laughs> <laughs> This is fucking hilarious. Dragonborn and the rest of the family were in shock that Nick was on the trip with them. And everyone that went into absolute silence died of that. Shira screamed the shock. No, 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 perfect voice. Shira then fainted on the airport floor. While the family, including Isagi Go and Sakura Igawa, in the background working on shock. I. Oh no! All of these references are. F just keep ro Just keep going. It then cut to Nick getting off the plane. Nick walked <laughs> over to a building. I like how there's, there's a punctuation mark after plane. Oh no! Not the zombies. But he didn't enter because he feared that something bad might happen, like zombies. But then, he saw in a dark alleyway, a zombie. He saw what appeared to be a woman with violet hair, medium-sized breasts, oh, and purple eyes, like a zombie. As it turns out, it was a bro from the Saggy and Kai <laughs> series. <laughs> He oh, went no. up to Nick and she said, Hey, who are you? And what are you doing here? Hey, you forgot to dot dot dot. Nick then got pissed off at her borrow and he said an angry tone to her. It's going a little. It's 
for a little bit, so I'm gonna kill. <laughs> oh, well, that matter what Nick said, and she charged Nick with a violent and sadistic manner. Nick ran the fastest in his life. That it then cut to a 15 minute chase scene involving a bar from the Asagi anti series da da da. He then yelled at her and said, Suck on this! Yuck, yuck, guys! Went playing to his crotch, rather than chase Nick after Nick through parking lots. I call it's all capitalized. Uh, dark alleyways, malls, and hell even. <laughs> and hell! <laughs> they ran through parking lots, dark alleyways, malls, hell, and a Japanese strip club. <laughs> like, somehow that's the weirdest thing I'm a month of five, like, somehow hell is less weird than a strip club. <laughs> oh, bro, we even bumped into Honoka from Dead or Alive 5 last round. Honoka then said her bro. Uh, hold on, I got it. Hey, watch it, woman! Nick went into the strip club and borrowed chase after Nick, but Nick had the perfect plan. Just read that paragraph. <laughs> Nick grabbed the person's get... drink and spilled it on the floor. A bro! Then slipped on the spill drip. <laughs> oh, bro! Went 360 degrees in 360 the air. 360 no scope. Fell on her face. With her ass poking out. Bro. Suddenly, Lynn Quagmire from Family Guy entered the scene with a zombie and took pictures of the bro's ass. And he said, Giggity. No, 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 no. Giggity. Giggity goo. I'm Ooh. really gonna take pictures of you. Giggity, 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 you. Ooh, ah, ding, ding, wah, wah, bing, bing. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ding, ding, wah, wah, bing, bing. Oh, oh I had a hawking zombie here be like that. Hey, Peter, um, you mind not trying, you mind not making my wheelchair wheel square next time, Peter? After oh, Quagmire, why do you seem so down about it? Just keep, just keep reading. But as Quagmire took pictures of a Boros ass, or Boros, Nick escaped a Boros wrath. You Nick almost said a Bobo. A Boro. Ebola. A Bobo. But but coming no, no. out of the but strip no, no. club, completely wet. Oh no. That Nick poured on the floor to oh, distract no. her. He then oh, ran no. into a love hotel no. for some reason. No. He saw two couples in the hotel. It was oh, no. none other than Shiny from the Steam <laughs> Game, from oh, the no. same name as Moby from Brain. Oh, Holding no, the SD. together. No. The other couple. Was a dark author and an aged up no from the fan service no. anime high school DXD and a zombie. I didn't read it ahead of time. Oh no! <laughs> Nick, Nick then, then headed in the love hotel uh, in fear of a burrow spotting him oh, no. and zombies. Suddenly, no. Nick. No. Felt something or someone oh, touch no. his shoulder. The person was none other than the Punisher from Marvel Comics. Oh, no. The Punisher said to Nick that he is FBI He's agent vigilante <laughs> wanted <laughs> to know what Nick was doing here. Wait, 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 no, what? Re read that. Wait, wait, wait. Zombie. The Punisher said to Nick that he's an FBI agent slash witch and he wanted to know what Nick was doing here. <laughs> it ends with a fucking question mark. Oh no! Punisher? Punisher witnessed Nick from Left 4 Dead on the plane to Tokyo, Japan. He knew something was wrong because he was, he was all alone, capital W, without his family. Nowhere in sight. The Punisher then asked Nick if he had ever had an encounter with a woman with violet hair, medium sized breasts, purple eyes named Ebola. Punisher revealed that. Ouroboros is a highly dangerous criminal. The male victims claim, claim to have been well, da 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 da, sexually armed by Omoro. The victims was a boy pregnant woman by the name of Isagi Yukawa. Isagi is a highly trained female native with some sort of demonic powers inside her. Oh, Jesus Christ. When all this and does not be. Well, Nick, he was very surprised. He wrote to the punch that Boro tried to lure him into a dark alleyway. Luckily, he got away. But Boro kept chasing Nick throughout the streets of Tokyo. Suddenly, Boro burst in the door with me once the disc's work on her face. 
I, I'm glad we're like halfway through this. Oh my god. A bird, that's the second bird's making the puncher. Uh, no! I don't know, what you want to land at first? I'm wearing the gillis head. Oh! Donna, I think it's going to win soon, it's worth $3,000 this is going to be very fun. I'm going to charge a neck and the punish it with full force. Punish it, Nick Fodder, and we'll see with gun through fist fight in hell. Even one scream, I just put a bow, Nick and the Punisher. Like it's Dragon Ball Z. Doesn't say like it's Dragon Ball Z, but you, you probably believe me if it did. Luckily, the boy got killed with Nick's katana that he found in one of the stories that Boro chased Nick into. Nick the nail made the cap table. Major Nick. <laughs> Major Nick's a bell teacher. Punch and then shook hands, congratulating Nick for his good deed. Nick and the punch with the level tail. It cuts back to the Dark Arthur Kanoko in one of the rooms with the level tail. Dark Arthur then turns to the TV. Wait, someone's concerned. He saw tentacle hentai on the screen. That is pretty fucked up. Dark Arthur he screamed and sucks. What the fuck was that tentacle hentai on the screen? This is disgusting. He then took character logo from his YouTube channel. The beer bottle that cracked the screen for the one away in trash compactor. <laughs> that was outside the level tell. The beer bottle got cracked. And there was also a zombie. Dark, Dark Arthur then left the level tell with Kon Konako and Anger, whatever. Just read. What the fuck and is I this? I just Dark imagine Arthur there's movie? just a bunch of cardboard cutouts of zombies everywhere. No, 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 it's just. It's just this guy on. Why can't you let me have this? Yeah. I, I think the, the I think the background of all this is just some dude on acids just trying to make a um Gmod video or something, but doesn't know what to even make it about. So he's just doing all of the things. With randomly thrown in cardboard cutouts of zombies. I don't know why you say that like it's funny every time. After that weird scene played. Which weird scene? It then showed Scorpion, Shuren, John Wick, Doom Guy, Alicia, and the Dragonborn. And SpongeBob. With a cardboard cutout zombie. Uh, enough with the fucking zombie. Train it wasn't funny the first the time. the family gathering in Ahsoka, Japan. For Nick to return home safely. Suddenly, full stop. Suddenly. Full stop. Suddenly. A car pulled up with a skull on its rim. The people who came out of the car were the Punisher and Nick. The Punisher then knocked on the family gathering house that was owned by Nick going, going. and his family. Oh no. I just, I just, I just read all of this. Shara from Soul Caliber then greeted the Punisher with open arms. Shara oh. said to the Punisher, Hello there, what's your name? And what are you doing here? At our time of need. The Punisher said in response, Hello ma'am, my name is Frank Castle. I'm all known as the Punisher. I'm an Wait, wait, wait. Okay. I'm an FBI agent slash vigilante who cleans the streets of normal people, criminals, and corrupt politicians, among others. I believe this was your son, right? Punisher then let Nick out of the car with a skull on it. The Punisher then brought Nick over to Shira. Shira and the rest of Nick's family noticed that Nick is back with the family that he helped find Nick. <laughs> then everyone, including Shira, asked the Punisher how he found Nick. The Punisher explained the whole situation and the story from beginning to end. Needless to say, everyone, including Shira, was shocked, but happy that Nick came home safely. Everyone then thanked the Punisher for his kind act. The Punisher then handed Shira a card that had a phone number where Shira could call the Punisher if they needed anything. The Punisher travels everywhere and anywhere. The whole family gave him hugs. The family included Nick with the family gathering in Osaka, Japan. With a zombie. Shut up about the fucking zombies. It wasn't funny the first time. The Dragonborn then called his faithful dragon companion named Parthenax. Parthenax and Shadow Dragon shot to put a spell on the family gathering homes. So could it be destroyed or burnt down? This shot was very unfamiliar to, to any Elder Scrolls fan. Not even the developers. 
Why is that scared? I'm scared make everyone right. <laughs> it actually says that. <laughs> sure, I make it the rest of the went back to the airport with I people. I'm fair enough now. That included Dark Arthur, Koneko, Haiti, Mobi, Asaki, Goa, Sakura, Goa, Monaco, Glenn, Quagmire, and Hal. Even you were Rose and Rico, you know, Moto from the Rumble just so you shut up as well. As sure. well as a zombie. D enough with the fucking zombie. I told you this 12 times already. Shut up about the fucking zombies. It got no laughs out of me, ever. It wasn't funny, ever. And that's what makes it funny. For you, you dull. You, I know what makes you laugh. Your booze mean nothing. <laughs> sure, Nick and the rest of the family then invited everyone to a Christmas dinner, including Christmas carols, the Christmas feast and party, and even Christmas gifts and movies that they cannot watch. Everyone agreed that they would come to the Christmas party. Two weeks later, as a time lapse played on Christmas Day, picture of Scorpion, John Wick, Doom Guy, Felicia the Dragonborn, Dark Author, Kaneko, Haiti, Moby, <laughs> Sagi, Akawa, Sakura, Akawa. I like how the name fucking changes all the time. I know, good Glenn Quagmire, Evil Rose, and Rico Inomoto open their gifts. Jory got two new samurai swords, their poison old swords from 2008. Scorpion got a new spear and a jutsu weapon, poison's outdated 1992. Weapons of chocolate got another beagle, which he named, which he named his beagle Daisy. His dog died tragically years ago in 2014. Doom got out the newest Animal Crossing game so he could play by Isabel with Isabel by his Zoom. But we should got a ball of yarn that she could play with. Dragonborn got a smartphone with phone numbers and a contact list of Dragonborn's wife, Ser Serana, and his friends. Plus, so I automatically signed on to it. Rocket Gother got anime figures of the high school DXD cast. Why am I not surprised? And I got a smartphone with cars and Dark Arthur on if she needed help or something. Haiti got a, a, a level 100 way to come break to Prove her guts! Shut up! A level 100 ways your gun perks your favorite gun skills. Moby got an ugly Christmas sweater with Tim, Haiti, and himself on the ugly Christmas sweater. Asagi and Saki got some inner swords for the battles against Sabora, which ironically enough, the Punisher and Nick helped out on. Moby got an entire dead or white roster crossing over the Rumble's rock for us. Rumble, Rose's burst around it. Glenn Quagmire ironically got some off that entire manga. That does sound like Glenn Quagmire. Oh yeah! Giggity! Evil Rose and Rico. Giggity, giggity, and got some trade and speed bags for them to practice on. And last week, Nick got the best gift of them all. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Yes. <laughs> sure is a lot better than Cold War or Vanguard. The movie then ended with the credits. After the credits ended, some images and videos think that everyone supported the Yakuza Entertainment and the movies along with the cast and crew that developed the movies, as well as the live action costumes of the characters and some behind the scenes videos and screenshots. Finally, with the videos and images, the text of this. Okay, Yakuza Entertainment, thank you for watching the movies and supporting us throughout the years. It was a very fun ride. This is our final movie before we went bankrupt due to multiple copyright claims. The lawsuits were followed toward us due to the characters and everything went in the movie. We love making fan. We loved making family movies over the five years. Thank you for everything. Scary do Entertainment. Oh, is that? Yes. My... Sorry oh, for all the zombies. Shut the fuck up about the sun. How's oh, that? <laughs> and I were amazed at what we saw in the movie. There are a bunch of crossover characters in it. The fact that they managed to get away with making family movies with copyright characters and franchises for over five years is beyond astonishing. <laughs> After we left the hotel, what we saw, there was a private plane waiting for us. When we got into the plane, we saw the driver of the plane was none other than Tom Selleck wearing Akira Fudo's uncle's clothes. <laughs> right by him was Akira Fudo himself. Tom Selleck was set up as any. Ready to head back to the USA? We both said yes. We then headed off into the sunset, never to be seen again until 2022. Down, 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 down. Some folks are born made to raise the flag. Ooh, that red, white, and blue. It ain't me. It's like we fail, we break, we fall, but then we rise, we heal, we overcome. Anonymous. Credit to Jesus. Categories: troll pasta, satire, words of characters, lost episodes. I. Seth, if, if no, not if, when you watch this, I, I keep writing stuff like this.
Just, just keep writing. Please. Uh, one day, you'll... One day, one of your passes will be... Will be seen by someone much more popular than I. Read by someone much more popular than I. And... I just want you to keep... Just keep up the good work, man. Go... Any, any thoughts on this? Besides... If it involves zombies, don't say it. Not enough peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell did Charlie Brown show up? Oh, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. Seth, um, I think he... I, I think he wrote this just for me specifically to read this or something, like... Cause like, he, he, at the same time, he recommended, um, It's Your First Kiss, Charlie Brown, for me to read. And I just, I, I can't, I couldn't say no. I just had to, but this, this guy, please keep up the good writing. I, I cannot thank you enough for this. If you guys enjoyed the video, Please tune in next time. Tune in next week on Dragon Ball Z. Peace out.